evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. And this must be amongst the favourite arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. And looking down the list of names, it does look, Jim, as though it's going to be a 5-3-2. Well, it's an attempt, Peter, to put a solid bedrock in place and negotiate the game from there. If they can absorb what comes towards their box in the early stages, then the midfield can begin looking for more of the possession and can start thinking about a more probing influence on the contest. It all depends on keeping their goal intact, so they won't have to open up and indulge in, in taking risks at the other end. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Oh, that's a fine challenge. Now a chance to break. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Hoists it forward. Just to locate someone up front. Cleared away. Promising, but uh, eventually thwarted it without doing any harm. Looks to bypass the midfield. Well, that's where he wants it. Defenders on the back foot. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Real chance! And the defence can get it clear. It's on a... He's had a shot! Cuts it out. Drives it towards the front. Keeper's ball. Bruno Aquilmanga. Forward it goes. Just brushed off the ball there. And it's played forward. Questions were asked. But he's given the answers. Up towards the front line. And we hit half time. So the other team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. Any strong opinions on the first half? Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Here we go again. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Gets into a dangerous position. And he's made sure that that won't get through. It's being played forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. just an example of over committing and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention it was vital Dijon uh, keeping their men at arm's length here yeah I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard forward it goes 
Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. Tries to get it forward quickly. Benzia. it over to the other flank Dijon Merritt full mark well, that looks a foul yep referee's given it Upfield. Pumps it into the area. Timely intervention. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance. That's clear cut. It's a free kick. And he's there to clear it. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. more minutes no winner after 90 yeah neither side has anything to show for some splendid effort and they certainly aren't showing any signs of easing off so we remain optimistic so to clarify extra time will follow into extra time we go Done very well to intervene and it's played forward Belmont hoists it forward get it forward quickly long ball but not especially accurate Played towards the front men and here's the chance to counter he's making good use of his strength there just refuses to be out muscled A really good feat shoots Finally! I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot.
Dijon. That's it for the first period of extra time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some leg drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. Is there to be drama in these final 15 minutes? It has been a slugfest. Significant blows landed, but still no knockout. Goes direct to the front line. And it's played forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Dijon certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. And the referee brings it to a close. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Well, the surprise for me was seeing a team look so feeble in what is usually a strongly protected area. But the centre of their defence looked open and very, very unsafe. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.